So this morning, a couple of points for our reflection. The first comes from the Acts of the Apostles. For the past week, we have been reading about Peter and John, how they healed a man, and because of this great gift that God gave the cripple through them, and because others saw them and were amazed at what God was doing, people were following them. They were arrested, put into jail, you know, warned not to preach Christ and all that. Fast forward. Today, they have been released. And the point is this. When Peter and John were released and they were told not to go around preaching Jesus Christ, they did not stop. You know, in Easter, we read from the Acts of the Apostles because the church wants us to see the earliest times of Christianity, how the apostles who were with Jesus lived the Christian life. And this morning, the point I want to make here is from the gift of fortitude fortitude that strength you have even in the midst of intimidation fortitude comes from the old latin word fortis fortis which means strong others will say to be brave nothing prevented peter and john from proclaiming jesus nothing not your superior in your office not your subordinates not a promotion oh then we will lose that promotion because if it's god's will you will have that promotion you need that fortitude in our world today like peter and john had to preach jesus not just by word but by our very word lives for me that is a basic thing christianity about it's not about words action factor non-verba actions not words may god fill us with fortitude amen the second point is this i love this verse in today's gospel it says what is born of flesh is flesh and what is born of spirit is spirit sure we are in human form we have flesh but as we know we cannot be conformed to the standards of this world romans 12 verse 2 and that is why christ will say you have to be born again <laughs> sometimes when we hear the word born again because of the way our other brothers and sisters have used this catholics don't want to hear it but i'm telling you you have to be born again it's a lie to think that you don't have to be born again you have to be born again to be born of the spirit and we think that being born again is for charismatic renewal my goodness who told you that christ says it so many of us are in church but we are in the flesh we are we are born of the flesh we have not activated the gift of baptism the holy spirit we received on the day of our baptism whether as an adult whether as an infant is still you have not allowed the power of the spirit to live in you and that is why you, you are in church, but you are still of the flesh. Christ says, you must be born again. You must. And that is why you are living of the flesh in your house. You are a husband, but you are living in the flesh. So you can beat your wife. You can insult your wife. You can abuse her emotionally. Say, oh, Father, me, I don't beat my wife. But emotionally, psychologically, you are destroying your wife. You are destroying your children. You are destroying your husband. You must be born again. You cannot live of the flesh. And if you allow the spirit to work in you, you activate. Oh, Paul will tell Timothy, 2 Timothy 1 verse 6, Fan into flames the gifts of God you received when hands were what? 
My goodness. And you are Catholic and you are not allowing, you come to church, you listen to the word of God. You, you are online and you say, oh, we have preached. But you are not allowing the spirit of God to work in you. You are not born of the spirit. You are still in the flesh. Don't you see who you are? Be sincere. You are still in the flesh. When we are talking matters of the spirit, you are lost. And you think it is stupid. But that is the spirit. That is the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, you can be whatever. You can be mention the position. You can even be a priest as I am, a priest like as I am. And you are not born of the spirit. I'm telling you. You are not born of the spirit. So you are mundane. Your thoughts are, sh are sh manly. You, 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 you don't get things of the spirit. And if you allow the spirit of God to work in, in fact, when you are born of the spirit, oh, Colossians 3 verse 1. Today's gospel, the, the verse before the gospel, Colossians 3 verse 1, we were reminded on Easter Sunday, it says that, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Seek. The only way you can seek the things above when you are filled with the power of the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. May God have mercy on us. Amen.